Hi and welcome to Keep Boss Creative Flow. We are doing, taking part in the Defemorembe challenge and that is your ephemera inspiration in December for 2023 and it is hosted by Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel from Junk Journal Art. My 50 scraps partner is Susie Q Makes so all this basket of yumminess um, is from her and today's today's the 11th so we are doing halloween meets christmas and i've been very lucky um that the some of the scraps that susie sent me actually included some bats and there was a christmas tree as well so what i was thinking of doing is first of all using this tissue paper which has already been some of it's been coffee stained but then i've got some grungy painted ones which would work really well so i'm i'm thinking maybe either that one or this one but yeah i think i might it might be a good idea to do this one because then it's got a bit of bright but then it's got the grunge as well so this could possibly be added either like a half page because i think it will fit in the in the ring bound journal um yeah i think i will do that or it could be added to the actual page and then the holes cut out so let's uh let's just make the item first so i chose this one out of the this pile might work the best and what i was thinking of doing is just going through this um cute 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 box oh i spent 20 minutes or 25 minutes sorry yesterday oh, cutting out and um, there was a sheet with like um skulls and these moths these moths they almost look like little babies and i couldn't stop helping thinking about you know like the babies that they've been showing on the news from gaza who've passed away who've been yeah yeah i couldn't yeah so it just reminds me of that this is going to go hopefully we'll use it somewhere in the project and this was the envelope that susie sent me um so maybe i could use a bit of that just to i thought i was gonna do some kind of pop-up thing with this but we'll see if we come to it at a different date we will Oh, I also had this, which I'd got for my niece. Um, I'd got her some stickers from this. It's called a Crafty Criminologist. And it's got like these ribs with some flowers in there. Yeah. Uh, that's a maybe, so I'll leave that out. And then I'm sure she had like this Christmassy... Um, something like this it was something like this which was decorated let's have a quick look somewhere here oh here we go so yeah so i was thinking maybe use that uh could use the mushrooms as well make it a bit authentic uh, gee these triangles would look like cute trees as well wouldn't they Yeah, I don't think it will go with what I'm trying to do. Oh, that's cute. That would work. Uh, maybe this. I could get a bit of that. Okay. I think that's all that. So I'm just going to put this to the side. And I've got some brads here as well. Some grungy brads. So we could maybe decorate the tree with those. Got some barely art precision glue, craft glue. And yeah, so let's see what kind of thing we're going to make. So, nothing fancy. <laughs> First of all, definitely would like maybe 
this could be the front because then this paint will still show on the back should keep scissors nearby yes good plan good plan batman let me just cut that bit off and then i reckon just go with your first idea of just having it in half and then we can build on it we can build layers onto it that would be super duper Thinking, shall we do it so that it's yeah. Cause it almost covers the whole thing but we're gonna miss oh we could always cut it here and then move it across let me just zoom in a bit uh yeah let's just get started shall we even this side is gorgeous isn't it the way the colors have seeped through the envelope I know, I'm easily pleased. <laughs> and then we'll just start compiling it together. In fact, we should... How big is it? What we'll do is um, just glue this instead. And it's a little thick because of the layers of paint on here, which have dried. Paint and glue, I suppose. I think this works. And I have used these in previous prompts, these um, circular tissue papers. They are a brand called Aura, which is O-R-A. So if you're looking for them, that's what they are. Put it over and then maybe even strengthen then I hold turning this across I like um, crafting on the fly like when you don't know exactly what you're going to do but I knew I definitely wanted to use the um, that sheet of bats and stuff so trying to keep it down so that it doesn't okay <laughs> in fact shall we just turn it in rather than cutting it yeah that might be see what it looks like yeah shall we do... we'll just do that why not we'll just strengthen it a bit further won't it Gosh. May I just say this glue is awesome. Absolutely looking fantastic. It sticks straight away. And it's lasted quite a long time. It's it is a bit expensive, but it's lasted quite a good time, which is good. Uh, let me just could have done with just clipping this for a bit because there's um because it's absorbing into the actual tissue hopefully you won't seal it the other side but big Yeah, I haven't watched um, the videos yet, so I was thinking, you've got a rough idea, so don't don't complicate it and watch the video, because <laughs> I probably would have changed my idea. Um, yeah. I'm just going to tear this side as well, so it kind of matches the top. Let's see how we're going to do this. 
So we could add this is it's got quite thick um, packing paper. Susie will tell you. <laughs> in fact, no, yeah, that way. Shall we do it like this to begin? And come in. Yeah, let's do it because we've got enough embellishments to decorate both sides as well. So, okay, look. Um, I'm just going to use the Fabri Tac as well, mix it up. And this is also awesome glue because that's changing to a different material, this tissue paper with all them paints and everything. It's almost fabric like. I think there was um. There, there is a video of how I did it. See, I'm not going to stick it on fully because I wanted to tuck this in. So let's uh, glue this up. And then tuck it in first. Lid on. Always lid on. I'm just wondering whether to just leave that as it is as well but what I wanted to do was add some brads as decorations I'm just going to poke those in see how they look This looks like so it's a uh, quite a thick card. Probably two hundred and forty GSM, maybe. These are going in great. I think one more just to finish it off there. Okay, so now do we want this on there? Let's um tear around this. See what it looks like. This was just on the packaging. So. Is that weird? Adding it as a top there. Or would a bat be better? Or even. Oh my god. Should we do the skull as the topper? Put a spider. And we've got some bats as well. Oh, let's add this on this side. Just to get it started, I think. Oops. Forgot to put the pin in. Oh yeah, we wanted to top the tree. These can totally go on this side, can't they? Let's round them off. I'm not even going to cut them out because I lo love the background. That really adds to the 
perfect so yeah we can we add that on there Okay, so we want to put this on there, but I've got too many elements, haven't I? So wait, then let's just put these in order. See how to do this. Oh gosh. Okay, we've got facing uh, the crows. And we've got. Oh my god! Don't you think they look like babies? I know they're not. They're moths, but the face. They've got. They've got a face in there. So we've got graduated schools. What did I do? With oh, yeah. So we've got. So this is what we've got in this order. How shall we do this? Unless we put the spider on the top, but it's kind of not in proportion, is it? Ah. Uh, I really feel like putting the schools on the bottom. And shall we actually? Shall we just do the bird looking at it, at it and from either side? So it looks like it's in the distance. This is nuts. But yeah, we're going to go. <laughs> what I might do is just tear the edges though. Just bring it in a bit. like the white to show so i'm just <laughs> being very careful because this one's right on the edge right on the edge right, okay so you could go there you guys can go here on top and then maybe you shouldn't go on there oh my god okay Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's um. Actually, maybe the queen's head can go on the top. Seeing as <laughs> we're from the UK, mate, you're going on the top of the machine. Uh, the Christmas tree. There you go. That'd be. Yeah, we're doing it because it's already there. We might as well incorporate it in. Incorporate it into the design. I am going to use the fabric tack because that will. That's quite. It will give me a bit of um, leverage. A bit of. Umph. lift it off a bit as well and then incorporate all these little metal bits ah! oh my god i'm so glad that didn't fall um the other way <laughs> okay first of all let's get you actually about there is good isn't it I'm just going to pop that on there for a second while I grab the skull that's just dropped behind. Okay, nearly there. Right now, let's grab some the precision tip for this. Let's glue this down. I've left the white edge, I've not even um, taken that off. I'm just going to slightly overlap it onto the design. Actually, just put that there for a second. I need to get my, I've got a uh, paperweight. I need to pull that out. Not right now, but yeah, for next time. For next time, guys. Okay, wait. Let's just check. All fits, all fits. I'm 
so excited we're going out today me and my friend and so i'm on an annual leave day still <laughs> but another one and uh we're gonna see a national trust site so you might see some pictures um yeah You know what, this, this just reminds me of what's going on in around the world right now. It's just been crazy. Absolute. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do it. Let's get the... Actually, it's fine. Let's just get... I have to say this is inspired by Belgian de Cour, who's who did something he did a piece of artwork where there were where she did it in stages where there was a mountain and then people on in power were on the top and then you had um well basically the crushed skulls on the bottom the faces right on the bottom oh wait let's put you underneath So yeah, sometimes something comes to your mind when you see something else as well. Okay, do we want any of this stuff now? Or is it too much? We're getting a bit excited. Have the fact. Let's get the middle one. Let's get the middle one. And then the moth. That will fit in perfect there, actually. My God. Okay, so I'm going to give this kind of... going to try to squeeze... I should have done this before. Uh, wanted to add this in there. Should I have added it there or there, actually? Eh, we could always draw in further. Right, let's just... With that. Oh, well, my kiddo's got an... In uh, an apprenticeship interview as well today so good luck to him that's all going on might just carry on around with this and then we could add some of these elements here mix it up a bit and yeah that's coming in Add it there, spider. That way, I've used this whole thing as well. This whole sheet, cut outs. Well, you know what you think. Oh gosh! Right. Uh, Maybe we could do a graduated effect again. Or do we want them? Let's get them coming downwards. Let's come down, shall we? 
coming down to the skull. What about that full composition? Actually, we should glue this down. It's on the sticker. Might need to come down a bit, down a bit. Just add a bit more because it seems to be seeping in. Coming back in with this fabric tack just for these edges. It didn't seem to meld with the other one. I think because the construction of this has changed, the with the paint and everything to step back. Right. Um, so let's see if anything else is needed. Otherwise we are all kind of done. So yeah, so this is the back. And then this is the front. Oh, we wanted to just go back in, didn't we, with this, just so that the tree looks like it's grounded down. Could always add some black here. It's part of the ground. I'll just take it all the way up to the top of the and I wanted to just add just so that it goes into the I'm not even sure if that's going to stay. I'm just going to quickly go back in with the permanent. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there now. Hope you enjoyed that episode. <laughs> episode. Yeah, session. We've still got this, but we could use that inside somewhere. For now that's our prompt and that's what it looks like on both sides take care for now